Greetings, unsettled souls, uh, going on with the 12 days of Christmas. Isn't this the sixth day, Christo? Yeah. Santa nearly gave up the career after five-year-old boy died in his arms. I saw this and it really stood out to me. It's on Blasting News. America's most authentic Santa is shaken to his core when he learns he's unable to help a dying boy. Kind of reminds you how lucky you are. Eric Smith Matson is an Army veteran with the 75 Rangers who has been playing Santa Claus for six years. Even his wife dons the traditional dress of Mrs. Claus. He's generally committed to doing just 80 appearances a year, and while it's unknown if Matson's recent life-changing visit was one he already had scheduled. It was an urgent visit to which he could not delay. Mr. Claus, or rather, Mr. Schmidt Madsen, had just gotten home when he received a call from a nurse he knows. He works at a local hospital in Tennessee. She asked him, with a matter-of-fact urgency, to come to the hospital to visit a terminally ill five-year-old boy. The child was apparently so ill that Eric, it says, didn't have time to change into his Santa Claus outfit, the nurse told him that there was no time for that and for him to come in his Santa suspenders. Eric is the closest thing to the real Santa in every way down to the date of his birth. It was January 26, which is St. Nicholas Day. That's the day the real St. Nick was born. Schmidt Madsen is the closest thing to the real Santa Claus that there is. In real life, he is the CEO of Parking and Seals Engineering in Jacksboro, which also adds to the authenticity of his character along with training. Conveniently enough, Matson wears his Santa suspenders most of the time. It's been reported that his Santa costume is made for him, as is a real beard, which also adds to the authenticity. He's 310 cuddly pounds, it said and it took him 15 minutes to get to his destination where he met the child's mother and family members. Check this out, friends. It was here that the child's mother handed him a toy that she bought him on the TV show Pal Patrol 1. It was also around this time that he decided to lay down some rules. He told them if they were going to lose it in the room, then they should leave. If he saw any of them cry, he too was going to lose it and would prevent him from doing his job. He then went into the room with the child who was in intensive care. The first thing he said to the child was that he heard he was going to miss Christmas and he couldn't because he was the number one elf. The child, who remains unnamed, got very real with Schmidt, saying that he was told he was going to die and wanted to know what he should do. Santa told him to tell him he was his number one elf and that they would let him in. He knew Knox News was the child, then went to hug him and said, Santa, can you help me? And those were his last words as he died in his arms. Said the incident shook him up. Um, and he's even uh, been in combat, but he said the little boy absolutely devastated him. According to him, the child's mother entered the room crying out, No, not yet. It was at this moment that the nurse broke down into tears. Eric followed his role, handed the child back to his mother, and left the room quickly. What do you think, friends? There's some serious story. I promise something a little more lightweight tomorrow. But I figured we uh, did have to get to some of the more serious stories here on the 12 days of Christmas. I'm going to go get some sleep. I'm going to be on the media speaks here in about, uh, oh, I don't know, seven hours or so. See you at 2 p.m. on the media speaks. Good night, friends. God bless.